In this video I am going to show you how to use the Google AdWords keyword tool for keyword research uh, specifically for finding long tail keywords. Now, there are two versions of the tool, one for AdWords members and one which anyone can access. The version which anyone can access is missing a few features however they are not necessary for what we are doing. Uh, if you do have an AdWords account it's probably best to use that one uh, one advantage it does have is that you don't need to fill in the capture each time you run a query which can be a bit of a pain. To access the keyword tool inside your AdWords account click on the tools link then click here on the keyword tool. Uh, if you don't have an AdWords account just type Google keyword into Google and the link for the keyword tool will come up. So once you have the tool open, it is really simple to use. You simply enter your main keyword or keywords into this text box here. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use golf. You can actually enter as many different keywords in here as you like, and it will create a separate list for each one, uh, which can save you a lot of time if you have a lot of keywords which you wish to research. If you keep this use synonyms box checked, it will include other words related to your search term as well. I always untick this box because I prefer to do a separate search for each keyword related to my market and then keep a separate keyword list for each. Okay, in some cases you may want to filter certain words as quite often two or more markets may overlap and that may result in keywords which are unrela unrelated to your market. Uh, this option here to turn off ideas for new keywords uh, I personally leave that on because when applicable uh, list some alternative keywords which you can research which are related to your market which you may not have thought of. So now I click the get keywords ideas button and if I scroll down here it now lists a whole bunch of keywords which include the keyword I just queried. If I click this link here I can order the list by most searched at the top and not surprisingly you can see that golf is the most searched term in this list. Uh, you can see that it also gives you last month's search volume which can be important for seasonal keywords. I'd say golf probably gets a lot more searches in summer than in winter but I could be wrong. This number is an approximate value of the average total of searches per month. So divide it by 30 and you'll get a rough estimate of how many searches that keyword gets a day. Remember that if a keyword is getting 30 searches a day, that doesn't guarantee that if you are ranked number one for that keyword, you will get 30 visitors to your site. The amount of visitors you get will depend on how effective your title and meta description are at drawing people into your site, as well as a whole bunch of other factors. I think it's fair to expect about 30 to 50% of searches to click on the number one listing, all other factors aside. So as you can see here, according to Google, the keyword golf gets on average about 1 million searches a day, which is an insane amount of traffic. A really useful feature if you scroll down to the bottom you can export the list to Excel. If you don't have Excel you can open the list using the spreadsheet tool provided by Google Docs. I'll show you how to use that in a second. If you download the text version it only lists the keywords and not the search volume data which is really important. So I recommend using the, X, uh, the CSV file. So here is the spreadsheet in Excel. As you can see here I have the list of keywords followed by advertiser competition 
which by the way if you're wondering what that is it's the number of AdWords ads running for that particular keyword uh, one being highly competitive down to 0 0.1 which is virtually no competition and then you have your two search volume amounts and as you can see it is ordered by the average overall monthly search volume uh, which is how it was ordered when we downloaded the list uh, for those of you who do not have Excel you can uh, you need to download just the plain CSV file not the Excel version Uh, then go and type Google Doc into Google and this link should come up. If you do not have a Google account, you'll need to create one. Okay, once you're logged in, your screen should look like this. All you need to do is click Upload, then click Browse, locate the CSV file you just downloaded, and then click Upload File. And here is the, what the spreadsheet looks like in Google Docs.